Okay. Three, two, one, and welcome back to Zombie Squadcast. And with me today is Taffy Guaze. Did I pronounce yeah. it? He said it perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So Taffy and I, uh, I think we connected on backstage. I applied mm -hmm. applied for an acting gig, and uh, you called me back. I think when I was in the middle of jury duty. <laughs> And I think the next couple of days, my wife went into the hospital giving birth to our first kid right here during this Corona COVID wow. quarantine <laughs> uh, fiasco. So, um, and then uh, unfortunately, well, well, we can get right into to, to what you do and how that show and how other, how, how your other productions or your other work is impacted. Um, mm -hmm. But um Go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, what it, is, what it is you do and what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm a screenwriter. Um, I'm working on a show called Admin. Uh, it's a show about an advertising agency that doesn't know anything about advertising. So they just do a bunch of different funny things. And then sort of uh, eventually at the end of the show, they come up with an advertising idea. And so, yeah, it's just sort of hits on, uh, it basically answers the question that I've always had in my mind is, um, how do advertising agencies come up with advertising ideas? And so they, they, these guys come up, you know, come up with those ideas by luck, by chance, and just, uh, you know, um, uh, so that's sort of how uh, they do it. And, and, you know, so it's a comedy. And so I've been working on that show. And so what we did uh, was I, you know, I had actors and I, we filmed the first episode. Uh, I didn't really sort of like how it uh, ended up, how it turned out. And so I rewrote the script. We were going to film the film it again. Uh, um, and then basically, you know, the Corona virus thing happened. And then uh, I was like, oh, crap. So uh, we were going to delay it. And, and then I just was like, you know what? Screw it. We're not going to delay it. We got to do something. And so uh, what we did was I had the actors do uh, record like their voice of, saying the script, do what's called a table reading. So they did a table reading, and then I'm going to have uh, stick figures, uh, pictures of stick figures, uh, just sort of showing the actors of what they're doing. And, um, you know, so it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a little weird. Uh, so because I, I had to rewrite the script so that it kind of matches you know, the, the stick figures and, and, and stuff like that. And so that's sort of how we're, we're going to be producing it. Um, for, you know, until the, uh, until everything sort of settles down and we can actually film it. So uh, hopefully in a week uh, or so, um, you know, I'm, I'm having someone draw, like an artist, uh, do the illustration of the stick figures and things of that nature. And so hopefully in a week or, or two, that, that'll be uh, out. Uh, so, so I'm excited. So that's, yeah, that, that's really what I've uh, been working on that, you know, um, writing that and then also like, writing ads for that and like promoting it. So pretty much. Any other screenplays in the works? Uh, no, not really. I, I, uh, I'm actually thinking about starting my own like production company. Uh, so like, I kind of want to like start like, uh, yeah, like networking with, um, like screenwriters and, you know, uh, like sort of helping them sort of produce their, uh, films or shows and stuff like that. So, that's another thing that I'm sort of working on. So I've, yeah, I've been sort of, because I think that that's something that I'm, uh, you know, like the, that, that's sort of where my skill set really is, is, is uh, selling um, and, uh, you know, networking and, and, and uh, trying to get things uh, produced and done. You know, um, it's, it, you know, I think I'm better at that than I am at the writing part, you know. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm an experienced screenwriter myself, <laughs> okay. um, but uh, I, I can't agree with you more right now is the perfect time to write and to prep and, and to develop You're right. and to, you know, check boxes and exactly. check boxes, mm -hmm. you know, cross all the, cross all the T's, mm -hmm. the lowercase J's, dot all the I's and the lowercase J's cross all the T's and the F's I should say. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, uh, in, from 2014 to 2015, I was deployed with the National Guard in, okay. uh, in Kuwait, and we we ran a small jail there. So we're corrections. We ran a small jail there, but there mm -hmm. was so much downtime 
that mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with the situation that we're all in right now. Oh, yeah. this, this is the time. And luckily I'm home and not over, over in Kuwait. Yeah. So I've got my home edit suite. I've got my laptop. Mm-hmm. But when I was there, I prepped so much stuff. I prepped a, a web series that me and some colleagues went on a road trip. I prepped a whole bunch of short scripts, um, did shot That's- lists. Did, That's good. Did budgets. And so when I, when I came back, I was able to pull the trigger on a couple of those productions that we were able to get a few bucks for. Um, oh, okay, cool. Now, so now this is that perfect opportunity to right. develop, 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 develop. And, exactly. once, and once they lift the, once they lift the shutdown, once they yeah. lift the, the, the lockdown, yeah. once they lift the ban on going outside, it's like grab that camera, exactly. get people together, you know, um, make it happen. Yeah. Try to raise some money, but if, if if no money, still there's a lot of there's a lot of local actors and filmmakers that are probably just anxious to get out of house. exactly. Like let's do something. Let's do we've exactly. Been, we've been stuck inside, so absolutely, this is the perfect oh, time. Dude. Yeah, totally, totally agree with you. And so yeah, no, that that's sort of my plan is like uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to produce stuff now, uh, kind of doing like with the stick figures and stuff. Uh, but then also after that, you know, after the ban is lifted, then obviously I want to like film it in person and, and things of that nature and Absolutely. try to build an audience. Uh, that's sort of what I'm really trying to do is build an audience, build, you know, um, yeah, like have a lot of followers so that I can go to then a, a, um, a network or a production company and say, hey, you know, would you like to, uh, can you, you know, would you want to produce this show that has, you know, you know, that, that has a fan base that, that is, you know, that's already kind of, um, has people that like it, you know, um, and, and, uh, you know, so that, that's sort of what, uh, um, what I'm working on, you know. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, you know, we're all stuck in the house, but luckily there was a number of things that, uh, me and some colleagues produced, we shot, still way to be edited and so once we're locked in i'm sitting i'm, I'm sitting here editing it and, and gonna release it you know on on youtube and on the channels that's cool and, and then from there you know keep writing keep writing keep developing the next seasons of this that and other thing or the next batch of films that eventually i want to get produced mm-hmm. um, another suggestion and, and it's funny you mentioned you know you're going to do stick figures with this yeah. show. Uh, what i thought of doing was motion comics okay so there's a short that me and my my same team of partners wanted to produce with with zero dollars. Yeah. So how can we knock this out? We have a limited crew, so it, it's all daytime. But instead of filming, instead of filming, I just took stills. Okay. And if you were to go on YouTube and if you were to look up, you know, Superman motion comic or marvel motion comic you'll you'll get an example of what i'm talking about okay but it's a motion comic and it's and, and so we're taking stills and kind of doing the ken burns zoom in or ken burns zoom out uh-huh. and so with your actors that are doing table reads yeah um, maybe have them dress up in suits and take a couple of take a bunch of different pictures at a diff- bunch of different angles and okay you can, have, you can have an editor kind of play with these pictures mm-hmm. um another another example would be uh Oh man, now I can't remember it. It was a, it was an Adult Swim show. Uh, Eric, Eric's awesome show, something like that. And it's in this this okay. really quirky comedy show on Adult Swim. Um, okay. Where they use stills. I mean, I'm maybe they were shooting video, but they changed it to be some really wacky looking still pictures, huh. with the di- with, but with the dialogue. So, right, 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 right. So uh, you know, I could probably pull up an example here. That's the beauty of uh, Zoom. Everyone's using right. Zoom space. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Wow, so, that's that's really good idea. I, I I never really thought about doing that. Using stills and yeah. So let me see here if I can find a good example. Mm-hmm. Um, this yeah, this show's really goofy. So I mean, it's definitely worth a watch regardless. Okay. Um, gosh, I wish I could find episodes of the show that I'm talking about. Because there's another, there's two shows, Tim and Eric, awesome show, great job. That's the name of the show. They're just oh, okay. really goofy dudes, Tim and, uh, Tim and Eric. Tim and Eric's awesome show? Yeah, something like that. But okay. th- they had a previous show, which was just stills. But uh, anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm dragging my podcast to it. 
complete and utter halt here. So <laughs> we'll skip that because I can't. I can't. It's that. okay. No, 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 no problem. No problem. But yeah, yeah. No, I'll, that, I'll definitely keep that in mind, and I'll, I'll be you know, do that for the next episode. Yeah, so if if you were to Google motion comic, and I can. Okay. So I. That's what I'll do. I'll just put up motion comic here. We go. And give you a decent example of what I had. You know what I'm trying to talk about here. Mm -hmm. Obviously, these things are a bit more um, bigger, budgeted, better special yeah. effects. But no. you can see how you can see how this is a still. Okay. You know this is it's a still, and and, and they threw a little effects, and then they zoom into yeah. another still picture, and they, uh, they they might throw in some real subtle effects. Okay, gotcha. But, but production wise, production wise, you could have people remotely just taking stills of themselves, wide, medium, close, yeah. different angle, wide, medium, close, and just still pictures and kind of play around with that as your office setting, throw your dialogue underneath, you know, things of that nature. That's cool idea. I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. And I might, so, might do that. And so me and my buddies, um, around, around the time of the Super Bowl, we met up and we, we, we did a lot, of the, a lot of shooting for this one short. Mm -hmm. in that style because we kind of foresaw the the lockdown we, we we kind of foresaw the whole lockdown the whole um people shutting in you don't want to go outside get sick mm -hmm. so i said let's try to knock out as much stuff as, as we can in a much simpler way mm -hmm. still be artistic we can stay we can still stay tr true to the script to the story mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily going to be your your generic uh, your 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 average, I, w I don't want to say generic, but it's not going to be your average, you know, two camera shoot, or your mm -hmm. three camera sitcom, or your one camera narrative kind of shoot. It'll be you know a motion comic, or it'll be, right. or it could be a novel, or it could be, mm -hmm. or it could be an animation like you're doing with the stick figures, right? Um, you know, and and then, you know, down the line, your animation or your motion comic could be a pitch to then redo it in a much exactly much grander scale They're right that that's sort of the idea is to is to just show the yeah just to show people kind of what it's all about and then hopefully then you know people want to make it a an actual show you know and then you know um and even and even like i could i could film it like a an actual you know show but that's that's after obviously everything settles down so um again we're just trying to get you know build a fan base get people excited about it and then and then uh you know just sort of go from there uh so you know i mean maybe the next episode might be stills or something like that uh uh while everything is sort of still kind of under lockdown and then uh and then maybe the, and then hopefully everything will be done and then you know then we can really go back to filming and and uh Absolutely. That'd be yeah that 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 would be the the best uh, idea. So thank you for that idea. Appreciate it. Yeah, that. and 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 who's to say that the the animation or the motion comic won't be the project? That's exactly. Right. That could be it. That could it's be, very that's it's very possible. Okay. Very, exactly. And then that just brings notoriety or clout to you for 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 uh, you know future projects and additional right. grander scale of project projects in general. Yeah, no, and, I agree. But of course, I, I, we want to make the the most perfect, best thing that we have. Exactly. Starting off in our mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah it's yeah. frustrating that we have to like maybe dumb it down. Right. To get it out there, and yeah. then and then once you're there, it's like, oh gosh, I got to redo this whole thing now. Right. But if you find like this slick, artistic kind of um, production hack, yeah, to find a a a, a nice middle ground. Mm -hmm to still tell your story, you know, it's, it, it, you're still, you know, producing your script mm -hmm. it's in a different way that could ultimately be the final product. It, it's very possible. I, I, I think it really could work. That's why I'm like kind of, you know, excited about it is because I think it could work. Um, and, uh, you know, I, to, to make it like it is, I had to rewrite the script, obviously like it, you know, and I had to, uh yeah at the i i made it shorter and you know because i don't i, I would i didn't think that it you know people would be uh want it to be too long i didn't think people would would be would be wanting to watch it if it was like a 20 minute like you know 
like animated thing uh but maybe maybe so i don't know uh but uh so yeah a lot of changes had to be made but i think that um you know getting getting it out there is just the key you know i mean i that's what i i believe i'm a big believer in just getting something out there and just you know you gotta let people see it you gotta we can't wait uh you know you know it's, it's just that's the key uh so um you know i'm i'm now 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 i uh with with the idea of stills i now have another idea of a way to just get ideas out there that's and cool. then just let see what happens from there you know uh so and i can't agree with you more uh, the the biggest the biggest headbutting that i do with a lot of my partners a lot of other entrepreneurs and artists and mm -hmm. and, and uh you know business minded people product-minded people, production-minded people, is that at some point you have to pull the trigger. Exactly. You know, there's so Agreed. many people that say like, there's a strategy, you have, to, you have to see what, so many people are, so many people have this mindset that you have to copy, maybe not copy what is the hot thing right now, but you have to look at their formula, look at their formula, what is trending, what, um, what is this person doing that's successful? And yes, you do have to take that into account because obviously we want everyone to see our stuff and we want to be successful. At the, but my biggest argument is that first off, you have to love what you do. You have to, you have to do something that interests you because you're not going to put a hundred percent into something that you don't care about. Right. And, and, and finally you have to pull the trigger. Mm -hmm. Eventually you just have to hit record. Right. You eventually have to hit play. You eventually have to like start writing. Mm hmm. Oh, but what kind of books do people do? You're not going to be good at doing crime novels if you don't give a shit about crime novels. Yeah. If you only care about horror, if you love horror or you love sci-fi, put pen to paper and write sci-fi. Right. If you, if you love making music, but you want to jump off and do something else like sales or marketing, you're not going to really give a crap about that because really you want to do music. So you need to pull out that Mac and that logic and that pro tools or whatever it is, that keyboard mm -hmm. to produce music. Right. Because number one, you have to love what you do. Mm -hmm. That's why you'll be successful at it because you're mm -hmm. doing what you love to do. And second, you have to pull the trigger. Right. No, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, you just got to get it done. You know, um, that's, that's the, uh, that's that's the key like you can't uh i feel like artists are very uh, you know um and and so i i think it's it's good to love what you do it's good to love your craft but then i think there's also a kind of a uh i think you have to let people see your work even if it's not as you intended it to be you know i mean i i didn't intend it to be stick figures i did not intend mm -hmm. any of this stuff to happen but but we have to let it we gotta you gotta get it out there you know even if it's not fully produced and it's not you know um you know i think just getting the idea out there and because I'm trying to, because I'm, I am trying to get investors, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get production companies to back the idea. I'm trying to build an audience. I'm trying to, you know, um, so I think that there's the love for you, well, what you do. And then though, there's also the kind of the, we have to try to, you know, uh, get people behind us, get partners, get, you know, we, we have to show the idea to people so that people can, you know, get behind it, essentially, you know, you can't just keep it all in your head, or, you know, keep it all on the paper and just wait forever. Uh, I, I think you also have to get it out there in some sort of fashion. Um, absolutely, you know. absolutely. You'll know, because the, the, I think the best analogy is that an, a, a painter, if a painter was going to paint a mural mm -hmm. on a wall, he wouldn't say, no, I got to redo it, paint all over it. Mm -hmm. And it's been another year painting and they're like, no, nope, got to redo it, paint all over it. He might make some mistakes. He might find little ways to fix those small little mistakes, but he's going to paint the mural within mm -hmm. a time frame and finish it. Mm -hmm. But at one point, he's got to go up to that wall. And yeah. He's got to start painting. Right. He can't sit there and just start over and restart and restart and restart and restart and restart and restart. That, that, that's not going to work. 
No. Because no. you're not going to have a painting. You're right. not going to have a mural. Yeah. And what, I mean, obviously, this guy's a trained painter. He's practiced. If, you know, we've all practiced writing. We're all mm -hmm. trained writers or filmmakers or producers or videographers or editors, mm -hmm. sound engineers, et cetera. But at one point, you got to, like, go up to that mural and make the thing that you're going to make. I agree. I agree. Uh, I totally, totally agree with that. Yeah, you just, yeah, you know, um, yeah, you got to get it done. <laughs> yeah, so I think with this quarantine, with the shut-in, we're going to see a lot of interesting product. Like, I think like, so, yeah. Like with your, anima with exactly. your animation. Yeah. It's a much different take on what you originally intended. Right. But, um, you know, in my case, one of my big money makers is live streaming. Okay. Co conferences, um, fireside chats, uh, um, round tables, things of that nature. Okay. And with the, with the okay. shut-in, mm -hmm. no one's going to these places to do the conferences. The hotels are shut down. The conference right. centers are shut down. Mm -hmm. No one's going there with the cameras, with the three or four cameras and the live streaming set up with the 300 people in, in attendance and the speaker or the panel speaking. Mm -hmm. But then we live stream that. No one's doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. Zoom. There's, you know, people doing six people, eight people Zoom conferences online, mm -hmm. and they're still talking about the same thing. They're still mm -hmm. getting the same information out that they were. Right. Mm -hmm. They all gathered in D.C. at the at the convention center. Right. But now they're doing it on Zoom. So we're seeing a whole different slew of product. It's the same information. It's the same story being told. It's the same thing. But um, it's just done in a different way. Different, exactly. Yeah. Uh, just recently on Hulu, um, I saw an ad on Hulu, all these famous people shooting stuff on their cell phones in their house. And oh, really? They, up, they uploaded to something, and it was for a COVID awareness PSA. Oh, okay. But it's, it was, uh, it was um, the whole cast of Parks and Rec, pretty much. Okay. Uh, I think uh, uh, the whole cast of The Office. I'm forgetting names now, but um, Michael Scott, uh, uh, Steve Carell. Yeah. Um, the the uh, a couple of cast members from The Office, all these different mm -hmm. NBC, CBS, you know, mm -hmm. actors that were on different shows, mm -hmm. shooting something on their cell phone from the safety of their own home. No, oh, that's cool. They're drop. They're probably sending it to Dropbox. Yeah, to an editor to yeah. it together. They all say in the same script, and it's kind of like this perfectly timed thing. Ah, so we're seeing cool. we're still seeing commercials and PSAs, but it's done in a different way. Right, because we're still finding a way. Uh, just with different means and a different look, but it's the same. Right. It's the same PSA, telling the same story. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I totally, I totally agree with you. Again, you just have to adjust. You know, um, that's all you got to do is just adjust and adapt, right? You know. So that's uh, that's interesting. I really want to hear more about your live streaming and uh, you know fire chat. Like that's that's a really well, interesting like, business. This is well, this is it now. I figured you know since I'm home and I'm not getting any gigs live streaming. Yeah, of course. I might as well pick up. Uh, uh, you know, me and me and some partners tried to do a podcast about a year ago. And then things just got so busy. I got married and then she got pregnant. And then another one of my partners moved. And so we were trying to do, you know, a semi streaming thing. So we're kind mm -hmm. of familiar with this. Okay. But now this is pretty much my live streaming thing. Right now. Okay. Got you. Got you. But, uh, once this band gets lifted, I really hope to start getting some, you know, big paying work again. Like yeah. 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 Um, well, I guess that leads me into my into the second part, and I, yeah. I think we pretty much kind of touched on how we're impacted. How would you say that you're impacted? I, I know we kind of discussed how you're, you know, um, redoing some of your productions, but but uh, you know, tell me how you'd say you're impacted by this whole lockdown shut-in. Yeah, um, so I would say I'm impacted just because you know, um, I mean, I guess I because I had the choice of either delaying. Or, you know, just uh, um, sort of producing it in another way. And so I'm, you know, I'm choosing to produce it in a different way. And so that, that's really a sort of the big impact is I have to essentially, yeah, again, adapt and just sort of change everything, change the script, change the uh, sort of the, the narrative uh, and, cha and change how I'm marketing it. Uh, sort of, yeah, just sort of, so a lot of rewriting, a lot of, um, um, you know, and, and, and working with uh, this, this uh, illustrator and, and trying to get him to 
um, you know, understand like the, the the designs that we need, the, the illustrations that we need done. And um, yeah, I, w- I would say that that's probably the biggest impact. I've been really, I'm really fortunate that I have uh, actors that, that are very flexible um, because, you know, they've been willing to work with me. Like they've been, uh, you know, they were totally down with doing the, the you know the, the the table reading and 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 you know just you know going this new route that uh uh that's again very very different um than than uh um than than plans so yeah i guess it's just a lot of um yeah just just sort of changing directions i would just say that that's the biggest um the biggest way i've been uh really affected you know yeah um do you have, uh, are, are you married with kids or do you have uh, family nearby? How, how else would you say you're affected? Um, so I, I, uh, I'm single. Uh, I, uh, I, so yeah, I live my own place. I, I, um, I, I yeah, I, I, I have family that lives in, uh, Silver Spring, that, that's, that's where, that's where I live. Uh, I live in Silver Spring. And then I also have a uh, family that lives in Texas. So my mom actually, she was going to come visit, uh, you know, but then obviously couldn't. Uh, so that was another way that I was, uh, affected. Um, so I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually at my dad's house just sort of hanging out with him. So, you know, uh, we've been keeping each other good company, you know, uh, so it's been, it's been kind of nice, uh, you know, um, so yeah, like it, it's, you know, just sort of being at home, like he's working at home, I'm working at home. We're just, you know, um, and then, uh, yeah, I've been watching maybe a little bit more movies than I usually oh, yeah. do. Just kind of, yeah, <laughs> not a whole lot else going on. So you watch a lot more movies and uh, you just sort of relax, uh, you know. But uh, you still try to, you know, get, you know, get in some writing, of course, and and, and, and be productive. But, uh, yeah, that, that would say that those are the, the major ways that have been affected, really, by it, you know. Okay, great. Um, so, uh Touching on, you mentioned watching a lot of movies. Is there a film or a series or a book that uh, you know that that first comes to mind that uh, you you saw that really you know was like the the best movie you saw or yeah just helping you or or maybe you're binge watching you know a series and it's just mm-hmm. like a really like deal. Okay. Um, well, I mean, so I've watched a couple of good, really good movies, uh, you know, since, since this time, I, I don't know if I'd say they're, they're helping me deal with the problems or whatever, but they're, they're really good movies. I mean, Knives Out and 1917, those are phenomenal movies that I, I, I was like, wow, you know, so um, I, I have grown, grown in sort of like appreciation for, uh, movies like that that are really in my opinion really well written really well done you know it's like whoa like that's that's like uh you know um i just, lot saw, of, uh, I just saw knives out as well it was really you good. did it's a really good movie like i i thought it was like really really uh well done and it's like okay um you know i would love to to make a movie like that you know i'd love to I would love to do something like that, you know, you know, someday, obviously we down the line. Um, um, but yeah, like I've also been like doing more reading, um, and just sort of reading about like how to, how to like, how to, you know, invest in movies, you know, cause I want to, I want to be able to, uh, I want to be able to talk to investors and like try to get them to invest in my, uh, film production company. And so mm-hmm. just sort of like how, how do I try to get the, you know, how do I, um, yeah, appeal to, to investors and, and what, what are sort of the language that I should be, uh, talking, you know, in, in, in all of those sorts of things like that, that's, that's another thing that I've been, you know, doing a lot of is doing a lot more reading and, and, you know, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. I don't think I've read anything, honestly. Really? Okay. Uh, the guy's guide to be a dad you know like i said i just had uh the the kid's one month old now wow so been, been reading um well really i've been cheating and i have an app uh, okay for like a, for the baby so, okay. every, so every day it sends me this kind of like uh, a four note 
little updates saying, you know, your baby might be experiencing this. So here's a good tip. Your baby might be experiencing that's that. cool. Your baby's three weeks old now. Your baby's a month old now. So, you know, maybe he's going to be way more crankier. So here's something to do. So I really wow. haven't even been reading. <laughs> but, that's uh, pretty cool though. That's a nice app. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I'd say, uh, what did I just watch recently? Um, Bloodshot. I just watched. So, so it's interesting. Um, mm -hmm. What's you know, it's unfortunate that we're shut in and, yeah. and businesses are are, are kind of suffering. But uh, what I noticed is uh, a lot of the movies that are in the theater are getting dumped straight to on demand as well. Right. Um, me, me and the wife just watched Invisible Man and Knives Out because they were dumped straight to on demand. Mm -hmm. And uh, last night I just watched Bloodshot with Vin Diesel based on the Valiant comic book, Bloodshot. Mm -hmm. Really cool flick, really cool action flick. And I think it'd be, you know, really cool if Valiant Comics did their own kind of cinematic universe like Marvel and DC is doing, um, starting off with this Bloodshot movie. Mm -hmm. and it's a really cool action sci-fi, Vin Diesel type movie, Fast and Furious type of comic book movie. Okay. Um, and then my wife loves the Bravo shows. So we watch housewives of whatever uh -huh, uh -huh. Summer house and all these, uh -huh. <laughs> all these uh, i mean it, it, i guess it's good for like passing the time yeah but yeah some, I guess. But sometimes it just gets old oh sure it gets old oh sure it does yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're on hulu all day oh really yeah if not netflix it's hulu all freaking day <laughs> Yeah, the, the good thing about those, uh, you know, uh, streaming services is you can't run out. Like, you can't yeah. run out and watch. So, yeah, there's always something to watch. It's crazy. I mean, I, it, yeah, it's, it's funny you mention that. I think a couple of years ago, someone said to me, you know, there's nothing to watch. And I said, bro, if you have at least two streaming, if you only had two streaming services. Yeah. You got plenty to watch. Exactly. You just got to turn it on. Exactly. You just it's between it Netflix and Hulu. Yeah, and I have more than that. I have Pluto. I have a bunch of the free ones too. Oh, really? Wow. Um, and Prime. I have I have, I have Prime, Hulu, and Netflix. Okay. Which are paid for, but then there's a whole bunch of free ones like Pluto and Tubi and Crackle. I think Crackle half of it's free. There's way there's a whole plethora of stuff out there. Yeah, I didn't even know about Pluto and Crackle. I didn't even See, know about those. I, I'm a retro guy. I love '80s stuff. And Pluto, oh, okay. And Pluto has a specific. Um, I guess uh, channel, if you want to call it, within Pluto, called '80s Rewind, and it's like some of the best '80s horror and comedy, and and really cheesy stuff, really good classic '80s stuff, but really cheesy, mm -hmm. cheesy '80s. It's like you know, so bad it's good type of '80s <laughs> movies uh -huh. uh, to really just you know okay. lose your mind to. But um, yeah, check I'll check that out sometime. But I guess, you know, we'll jump into the last segment, which you kind of you, you kind of delved into a little bit with your reading is uh, what's your next agenda goals plans? You mentioned uh, mm -hmm. production company. Yeah, yeah. So like that's sort of my next. Um, well, so basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, uh, you know, create some 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 like ads and, and uh, I'm trying to create and, and sort of build. Uh, so one of the one of the books I'm reading it sort of talks about building a platform where you sort of like you you create some different different little uh, videos or different kind of things that that sort of that you then present to producers that you know um, makes them want to have you uh, you know uh, on your show or or uh, like like let's say for example like let's say Daily Show or whatever uh, mm -hmm. you you know you would present different different types of videos and you say hey you know there's different ways that I can sort of like entertain your audience whatever or you know I love to be on your show so different like you know I either you know want to be like I want to like be on shows like you know daily show and stuff like that just like as a guest and things um and then or uh and or you know obviously create the, to help me create my show mm -hmm. to help me you know create my my tv show so um yeah so right now i'm working on a bunch of different things uh uh things to help me then create the the show and then eventually i need to create a production company that i can now um, you know do films do um do uh do shows i also have a friend that uh who wants me to uh create a documentary for him 
Um, so, so yeah, I want to do that. And, uh, and like, I, I've been working on that script, uh, and, and like, you know, I'm almost done, almost on that script. And so we might do it like a sort of like an animated style as well mm-hmm. for that. Uh, so yeah, like that's, um, yeah, the, the, those are the, the major things that I have sort of in the works right now is, mm-hmm. uh, is, is working on, you know, yeah, creating the show, um, you know, and then getting it produced and then, you know, creating my production company. That's, that's it really. Fantastic. If what's the one thing, what is your number one goal to have to, to, to check off once these <laughs> floodgates open and once you're able to step outside, actually physically touch people, talk yeah. to people, give face to face with somebody, yeah. somebody with a stranger. Yeah. And you were like the first thing I need to like, you know, shoot a bullseye into, what would that be? The first thing that I, I need to do, uh, would, would need to do, I think is I, 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 I need to basically, um, yeah, I need to like get on like the, the best, the best thing would be for me to get on like daily show, uh, you know, real time with Bill Maher. If I can get on a show like that, it just sort of, uh, build a lot of, um, yeah, just have a lot of people know about the show mm-hmm. that I'm creating. Like that would just be the the best, best, best thing, you know, obviously, uh, you know, the next thing would be to, you know, do like a more of a, like a, you know, a filmed uh, version of the show, you know, um, where we, you know, actually like film the actors and things of that nature. So I need to, to start, you know, I need to be writing that script where, where it's, where it's the like film version. And, you know, um, so that's another thing that I need to work on, but it's the, the best thing, sort of the number one goal that I'm going to be working on is, is trying to promote the show kind of like on a big level, kind of get on a, a big, uh, like a, you know, talk show or, or get on, you know, something like that to kind of really, uh, draw attention or, you know, um, an awareness for, for, for the show that I'm working on, you know, so that, that would be like the number one goal. And then, then obviously then to get it produced and, and, and then, uh, you know, things of that nature. So that, that's that, yeah, that would be my number one goal. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Um, anything else you want to close us out with? Um, I think, you know, I, I, I I usually shoot for anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, but Mm -hmm. I think we, pretty much hit the nail on just about every head. Yeah. Say. Yeah. No, I think we did. This was really good. I, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed, uh, you know, talking to you about this and, uh, yeah, no, n- and really nothing else to add other than, you know, hey, you know, check out the show admin whenever it comes out and, uh, links are, links are going to be below. In, in yep, the absolutely. Uh, admin. exactly. Um, so I'll, uh, yeah, we'll have links below and, uh, yeah, you, I, I'll, you, huh? got a, you got an Instagram. I, well, I have an Instagram and I have Facebook as well. I'll, I'll you know, um, page for it. So I'll definitely have those links uh, below as well. And, um, you know, yeah, look forward to kind of uh, getting feedback and, and, and creating more uh, content for, for uh, you know, for the show. And, um, you know, yeah, like that's, that's what I want to be doing. Keep producing, keep creating content, keep making stuff and see what happens. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that was that was that was Tappy Guaze. Yes, sir. I'm great with I'm, I'm great with names. Tappy, Tappy Guaze. Check out the links below to to his Facebook, to his Instagram. Um, this is Zombie Squadcast. So like like share, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the like button, hit the dislike button if you dislike it. Uh, ring the bell for notifications and stay tuned for the next episode. All right. Thank you, Glenn. Have a good one. All right. All right.